Cat Williams reveals how Diddy tried to seduce him. If you thought that Cat Williams' comedy was outrageous, wait until you hear his real-life stories. The comedian recently opened up about a bizarre encounter he had with Diddy, the rap mogul and entrepreneur, who apparently tried to make a move on him. In an interview with Vlad TV, Williams recounted how he was invited to a party at Diddy's mansion, where he expected to mingle with celebrities and enjoy himself. However, he soon realized that something was off when he noticed that there were no women in sight, only men. Williams said that he tried to find a way out, but Diddy kept following him around and making suggestive comments. He claimed that Diddy even offered him a drink that he suspected was spiked with something. Williams said that he refused the drink and told Diddy that he was not interested in him. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how powerful you are. I don't care how many hit records you have. I don't care how many Grammys you have. I don't care how many Oscars you have. I don't care how many Emmys you have. I don't care how many Tonys you have. I don't care how many Peabody's you have. I don't care how many Pulitzers you have. I don't care how many Nobels you have. I don't care how many medals you have. I don't care how many rings you have. I don't care how many chains you have. I don't care how many cars you have. I don't care how many planes you have. I don't care how many islands you have. I don't care how many mansions you have. I don't care how many yachts you have. I don't care how many jet skis you have. I don't care how many helicopters you have. I don't care how many submarines you have. I don't care how many spaceships you have. I don't care how many planets you have. I don't care how many galaxies you have. I don't care how many universes you have. I don't care how many dimensions you have. I don't care how many realities you have. I don't care how many simulations you have. I don't care how many gods you are. I am not gay and I am not going to sleep with you. Williams said he told Diddy. Williams said that Diddy was shocked and offended by his rejection and tried to intimidate him by saying that he could ruin his career. Williams said that he was not afraid of Diddy and that he had nothing to lose. He said that he eventually managed to escape from the party and never looked back. Williams said that he decided to share his story to expose the dark side of the entertainment industry and to warn other aspiring artists to be careful of who they trust. He said that he had nothing against Diddy's sexuality or anyone else's, but that he did not appreciate being harassed and pressured into something he did not want. I respect everyone's right to love whoever they want to love, but I also respect my right to say no thank you. And if you can't take no for an answer, then maybe you need some help. Because no means no, whether it's a man or a woman. And if you think that your money or your fame or your power can make me change my mind, then maybe you need some humility. Because there are some things that money can't buy and fame can't change and power can't control. And one of those things is me, Williams concluded.